All right, picking up. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I've got the geometry here that I want. So let's let's thicken this. You know, right now it's just it's just planar geometry. So I'm going to uh, you know, come up here to geometry. Uh, let's go to edge loop. Uh, let's go to look at panel loops. I want to set this to three because I do want a slight beveled edge on it, but I don't need I don't need five uh, on it, and I may need to up the thickness. Uh, you know, to get it to um, where I want it, but I'm just going to run it once just to take a look at it. And yeah, that that looks okay. Uh, I don't think yeah it did too many loops, so somehow it did, it got back to five. Let's type in three, and then hit enter just to make sure that it's got that. And then let's take the thickness up to say or see a set uh, 0.01 now. Let's quadruple that so let's go to 0.04 and now let's run it oh yeah and that looks a lot better in fact that might be a little bit too thick let's see what happens with 03 um, yeah I think I like that a little bit better or you can do 0.035 if you don't like that yeah there we go yeah Awesome. All right. Um, yeah. So now, if I wanted to do any low poly modeling on this, if I need to make some tabs or things like that to put, um, uh, say, straps through, you can do that now. Um, but yeah, I'd, I'd save that for a different tutorial. Right now, we're just interested in getting some geometry uh, uh, out on this guy, getting that hex tile uh, on it. All right. So to do that, what I want to do, let's see, let's go ahead and name this guy to. Uh, let's see, let's rename that to pad. And that way I can just come back to this guy. Let's switch back up to our uh, hex tile brush here, hit F to get it framed. And I want to get face onto it uh, like this. And yeah, make sure I'm completely orthogonal to it. Hold down, make sure no perspective, hold down shift. So I'm looking at it like this, and then I want to make this uh, into a brush. Uh, so to do that, and let's get out of uh, polyframe mode. So I'm just going to come over here to brush, and I want to create. Click on create insert mesh, um, and I don't want to append it to the existing one. I, I want to make this a new brush. So now I've got a new uh, insert mesh brush of this thing, and now I want from that I want to make a nano mesh brush out of it. So I'm going to come over here to brush, create nano mesh brush, and now this thing is a nano mesh brush. And it should, um, if you hold down alt and see, uh, you know, it's right now I'm in insert nano mesh and I want to make a, um, uh, uh, I want to make this thing go across all the polygons uh, of, of that particular uh, group. So what I want to do is um, I want to do yeah. Let's do polygroup all, uh, and that way when I click and drag, you see it'll pop out uh, on all those faces. All right, so let's switch back to our um, uh, let's see yeah, our, our pad here, and then uh, let's go to polyframe. And let's see that yeah we can. Uh, click on this yep and it's working the way we expect so it's popping out all on those on, on all those groups now if you wanted some out here on the edge you get it you, you could either do it uh, you know, like this uh, but see it's putting them all the way around and you don't you may not want that um, so you might just make this loop of polys the same poly group as the one on top here uh, but I think it's looking pretty good the way it is so uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it like that. All right, so let's uh, come in and let's click on this. Let's draw them out to, I don't know, just so they're all kind of fitting in there uh, like that. And then let's come down to the nano mesh uh, rollout to uh, adjust these. So there's lots of tools. I'm not going to go through every tool in here, There's, but they just understand there's a lot of really good ones uh, in here. Uh, right now, everything's in proportion, so you know, it's draw, kind of drawing them all the same. What I want to do is fit them to the different polys, so that you know they sort of change scale uh, according to the uh, you know, the polys uh, on there. Um, and then um, 
Uh, let's see, I may want to make them constant height, or I may want to have them fill. I'm, I'm just going to play around with it. And then I want to clip, and you know, the, and what happens there is, uh, you know, it, it trims them off if they try to go outside these these polys, uh, which may be desirable. Uh, but first of all, I want to just crank up my slot the size here to get them you know, to a bigger, and definitely want to make the Z height or sorry, the height go up a little bit because I want them to kind of be pushing out. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, actually, that looks you know, pretty good. Um, yeah, that that might be you know, what you want. Uh, if the rotation's not quite the way you want, just come down to the Z rotation and start you know, adjusting that until you get something that's a little more desirable. Mine looks pretty, I thought it, mine looked pretty good the way it is. Uh, let's see, eh, maybe a little bit different. Yeah, something about like that. Let's, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Let's see, let's undo that. Actually, that was about like where it was, so <laughs> I'm going to leave it. Um, and then, uh, let's see if I need to fill. Uh, is that a little bit better, or do I want them to fit? Let's see, I want constant height. Constant height doesn't seem to... Yeah, and I don't think I need the clip. You know, actually, everything's looking pretty good right now. Uh, let's. Tr I'm going to run the size up a little bit. Uh, let's see, remember where it is, about 9.96. So, you know, I'm going to run it up till it kind of passes and then turn on clip to see if that... Oops, you know, that really only seems to be clipping that last little bit uh, down there. So, let's try fill. That's a bit... Uh, that's not really what I want. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go to fit, and here, let's, so let's just um, kind of undo back to, yeah. Maybe just bump the size up a little bit more just to get them kind of touching. Yeah. All right, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Let's see how it looks in perspective. Yep, looking good. All right, so that's, uh, you know, how to deal with that. Uh, so if I want to change colors, actually, let me check my time here. Um, yeah, i got about a minute. Um, I want to change colors uh, on these things. First of all, I want to fill uh, fill everything. So let's make sure I'm in um, MRGB mode, and let's come to my color and fill object, and that'll fill the the under pad down there. Um, now to deal with these guys, I can uh, you know, change material. So let's go to something that's a little uh, softer, maybe, or at least softer looking. Uh, let's see what chalk does to them. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, that's kind of soft. And let's give them a little bit different color. Uh, darker gray, maybe. Um, yeah, let's go into the blue side. In there. And so once I've done that, then I can come down here to. Um, uh, da, 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 under my nano mesh. Uh, and color on the colorized part of it, and here I can just tell I just want to use the UI color, so that's you know, from that. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. And yeah, maybe I want something a little bit lighter. So let's go back up to here. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's much better. So let's you know I think let's reverse these things. So uh, I'm going to leave that uh, the way it is. Let's switch back to the basic material though. And uh, I want to color fill the pad, so I'm just going to fill the object. Yeah, uh, and then um, yeah, let me stop here. <laughs>